let's start with going back in time to the year is 1994. I had recently landed my first uh, job as a C++ developer working for Ericsson. We made huge switches. There were, were racks from wall to wall, from floor to ceiling. And uh, I was called down to, to the lab by one of our uh, system testing engineers. He wanted me to have a look at something. So go to the elevator, travel down a few floors into the lab, into this enormously noisy environment and uh, he didn't want to show me that though. He walked me to one of those gigantic Sony Trinitron screens uh, where he navigated the UI a little bit and he came to one screen that he wanted to show and he increased the contrast and he leant forward almost to the point of the eyeball touching the screen and he said, it's green isn't it? It was screaming red. So, it says raise your hand if you cannot read this. Uh, that was my first contact with uh, color blindness. Uh, he was red green color blind. He was not unable to see red green, but he, it was really difficult for him. Uh, I estimated that around 10% of you would have a really hard time seeing this. I did not see that many hands up, so maybe I failed. Um, difficulty or inability to dis distinguish between red and green is the most common form of color vision limitation. Uh, I've seen various numbers of how frequent it is, but it's, it's not uncommon. You also have other uh, problems with, uh, for example, cataracts or just old eyes that needs more contrast to, to be able to distinguish information. So when you are designing user interfaces, think about this. It's, it, there's absolutely nothing wrong with using colors in your user interfaces, but don't use colors as the only way to convey information. Use different shapes of icons, and maybe one is red and one is green, but don't use color as the only way, especially not red and green, because it's such a common problem. Uh, there is help available. Uh, whocanuse.com is uh, a site you can go to where you can fiddle with the colors, and it will tell you how well it works for a number of different uh, visual impairments including such things as just sun glare on a screen. Uh, Color Oracle, American spelling, uh, has a, a Java programming program that changes the color palette of your screen so you can test your slides to see how well do they work for people who have color vision problems. Do that. I have had reason to redesign my slides a few times. Uh, Regarding red-green, by the way, it's uh, an interesting thing. It, uh, it comes from a defect on the X chromosome. So those of you who uh, have two of those, uh, you have a high availability redundant system and are extremely unlikely to suffer from this. Uh, for others, yeah, if it works, it works. If not, tough luck. Uh, so with that said, if you want to optimize your UI for young women who do not need high contrast and have good red-green vision, these are the colors to use. <laughs> Old fogies like me will have a hard time. Uh, and that is all I wanted to say. Please use colors, but be careful about which colors. Thank you.